and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be decluttering this welcome back my name is Zoe and if you've been following me already you'll know that I am in the process of selling my house and all of my possessions to go full-time traveling and um, today we're going to tackle this wardrobe and try and declutter it now some of this stuff is like 20 plus years old and I know that because of the sizes of them you know what it's like you buy something and uh, then it doesn't fit you anymore and you think oh I might get into it again I'll keep it I might get into it one day one day one day that never comes and i'll bet half those clothes don't fit me anymore but uh let's make a start so like okay this is a nice skirt oh it is a nice skirt actually um oh, marks and spences i don't even know what size it is there's the label i bet this doesn't fit me anymore Oh, gosh, where did they put the labels in these things? It's a size 12. Yep. So this skirt is probably about 20 years old then when I last got in it. But what a lovely skirt. Anyway, so I've got to decide then whether they're of good enough quality to put onto Vinted. Um, or or what to do with them so this is actually in good quality and looks like i've never worn it so let's put that in the pile to load on vintage so what i do is i load the good quality ones onto vintage and see how they go and i have a medium success with uh, vintage i do find if they don't sell in the first few days they're probably not going to sell but then of course ebay now you can list clothes only clothes um without any fees transaction fees or listing fees so if they don't sell on vintage that's also an option for me all right here's oh this is a nice skirt as well oh well, that is my size so i don't know why i've never worn it what a lovely skirt and that one as well actually like my leopard print so we'll put those to sell now because i'm going to be traveling i'm i'm trying to be more ruthless now you know what it's like when you go on holiday you take a case and you put in it things you just don't need how many times have you been on holiday and put back in your case about two-thirds of it and said gosh i never wore any of this why did i bring it i'm exactly the same but what i'm trying to do when i'm traveling is be more ruthless and rather than wait to the last minute and then say oh I might need that and I might need that let's put that in you never know and then end up with a great big case when I really want to try and go minimal and hand luggage only so what I've started to do is actually think about what it is I'm going to need to travel and you know when you break it down to what you're actually going to need it's only like seven sets of underwear maybe less because you can rinse them out seven tops a pair of trainers, pair of flip flops, um, seven you know trousers or skirts or but seven in total of bottoms, um, and that and a swimwear, you know, and you don't need multiple swimwear suits. You can manage with one and just rinse it every night. So when you think about it like that, that shouldn't take too much room. Anyway, that's what I'm working on. Right, let's keep going through here. More skirt. Oh, look at that. That's a nice skirt. Nice skirts again. But I have to be ruthless and know that I'm not going to take any of these skirts. Some of them are winter skirts and I'm not planning on going anywhere cold. So, right. Let's keep going through it. So these, these... I like these. I got these in Egypt. They're just a couple of tops. They're really easy to wear when you're going to the beach and things. 
So, I mean, I probably won't take those travelling, but I might take those and leave them in Antigua because they'd be very... And the same with this, I got this in Africa. And again, these are just really handy for hanging around the house in the heat, but I can't really carry them around, but I can leave them in Antigua next time I go. And, oh, look. This is my outfits from India. I love these. I can tell I went to India a long time ago. No way, but that fit me now. What a shame, so beautiful. Mm. I'll have to see about that. Anyway, so, oh, I'll leave the coat hangers there. This I found in here, and I've not worn it, but I know that my sister-in-law wanted it if it didn't fit me. Well, I don't think I, that was ever gonna fit me. Um, so I shall leave that there for her. Now what right. Oh, so now I'm here. Bizarre. I have a lot of heads. Heads. Now, I know why I have those. So in lock <laughs> and the bag's got a hole in it, so the heads are rolling all over the floor. Oh blimey. So in, uh, just before lockdown, I always, well, for years before lockdown, I always had hair extensions and had long hair. And in lockdown, of course, there was no hairdresser, so I couldn't get my hair done and looked a real mess. So I did buy wigs. And I have, I counted them up yesterday, uh, 10 wigs. And I never wore them because I couldn't get on with them. They were really itchy. Um, so that was a waste of time. Um, right, I don't know why these jumpers are up here, but this jumper I do wear. Oh, God. Let's just give you a new coat and a bit quicker. Oh, can't this stuff? Uh, yeah, so I do wear this jumper. This was the one I got in Peru. And it's very soft and it's got a hood and stuff. Um, okay, so I wear it for now anyway. And that's the thing in the UK you need. You need your jumpers. I don't even know what they're... I don't know. I don't know. Also, you see, I'm getting into a mess at the moment because every time I have a viewing to sell my house, I have to hide things. And so if things just get thrown in the bottom of wardrobes and in the dishwasher. The dishwasher gets a lot of stuff thrown in it when it's time to um, for a viewing. And so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> all my cupboards are in a mess. And every time I tidy one up and I have to then throw things in there to hide them, they just get in a mess again. Oh, it's chaos. Well, I'm hanging it like that because I actually need to fix the strap on that one. Um, but I do like that top. Right, down in the bottom of the wardrobe, what on earth is this? Oh, gosh, no. Charity. There's loads of clothes in the bottom of here. Oh, that's a nice top, never worn. Um, great big long t-shirt. Why have I got a great big long t-shirt? Now look what I've got down here. This I'm a bit gutted about. I only brought these. I mean, these are so cool. I bought these in Peru. Um, never, no, I haven't worn them yet. Um, dear. I hate throwing my things away. Oh, oh God. Oh, gosh, there's all sorts down here. What have we got? We've got a, a glittery top. Hmm. Don't wear that. Well, that's a nice dress. I've worn this. My phone keeps pinging. I'm very popular today. Um, the thing is, I'm, I don't know if I've worn it or not, but I'm not going to wear a dress like that on, when I'm travelling, so I might as well just put it down. This is another top I brought in Italy. Gosh, what's going on with this? See, it's a, 
this this is another nice top it's light you know light you could wear this in the day or evening it's quite a versatile top mm. thing is I'm going to end up probably throwing stuff away again oh gosh I can't find a coat hanger that actually isn't stuck on something but this is a start and then up here oh god I've got boots galore but obviously I don't wear these and I won't be wearing these on holiday I mean such nice boots I haven't worn them for years oh I would have worn these, but I can try selling those on Vinted. And oh, I've got lots of boots on these. Oh, these. Oh, I used to wear these a lot. I love these boots. Like a metallic gold stiletto heel. With such soft leather. Yeah, I used to love these boots. Mm. Good condition. Considering how much I wore them. Right. And then, what else have we got? This is the air, uh, an air purifier. It actually belongs in my van, so I have to keep it out of the way for now. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, these are nice boots. Look at those. Oh, nice. Uh, An old iPod. Does anybody even use those anymore? Adapter. Rubbish. Oh my gosh. So, I said about having wigs. And here, I've got hair extensions. Oh my gosh, I've got hundreds of packets of hair extensions in here. Gosh. I don't think I'll be... I don't think there's any of these, but I know they're all being used at some point. Easily distracted, aren't I? <laughs> when I had my long extensions, I used to just like put the colours in when I want something different. I think they can all turn the bin. I don't think they're in. Oh, <coughs> that's a new packet, but I don't really know anyone that wears hair extensions that would want any of this stuff. Okay, here we go. Everything is out of the wardrobe now, except the clothes that I either wear or I'm going to be wearing while I'm here or while I'm travelling or where they probably still need to work on. But look, we've got rid of a lot of it. Yes, on the floor we have... Look all these shoes. How on earth do they even fit in that wardrobe? Two bags there so far for charity. A bag there of rubbish. Mainly hair extensions. And then on the bed, clothes to sell on Vinted. This has taken a good few hours just to get to this point. So now what I'm going to do is all those clothes on the bed and the boots on the floor but let's start the clothes on the bed is take pictures of them ready to put onto vintage it's a bit dark in this room so I'm not sure what they'll come out like but let's give it a go Okay, so we've got all of the, I've taken photos of all of these clothes, 
before I took some time. Um, and I've just left them there for now. So just after I put those up, I got a phone call from the estate agents and someone's coming to view the house tomorrow. Isn't that typical when there's a pile of shoes in the middle of the room? <clears throat> so the bags for charity I'm going to just put on this shelf for now. I mean, at least we know they're sorted because I can't leave them lying around when I've got a few in. Ugh. And then what I'm going to do is start putting those shoes back in the cupboard, but as I'm putting them in, take photos. Um, that should take me a while as well now. Oh, gosh. Let's just get on with it. Oh, gosh. I'm exhausted. Do you know when you wish you never started something? Um, I feel a little bit like that at the moment. But uh, <laughs> at least I know I've, I've got, you know, we've pulled it all out. We've sorted out. We've chucked a lot of things away. Um, we've got some bags for charity. And then we've got shoes and some clothes that, you know, we've taken pictures of to list. Now whether those pictures are any good because it's quite dark in this room um, I will see. I might have to come back up and do some more over the weekend just to make them look good online. Anyway uh, although it's exhausting I do feel we've made some progress today. It's never easy when you've got to declutter. There's a lot of emotion when you look at things. Everything even like a skirt or a dress it just has a memory of something isn't it? you wore it somewhere and it's a memory but it's also good it's also good to have a good clear out I'm quite looking forward to being a min minimalist now when I first started off I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to do it but as uh, as I'm going through the process and doing it bit by bit I am finding it easier to come to terms with anyhow I think I'm going, I'm going to go and have a nice cup of tea now. But thank you for watching. And I will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye.